This is a short video on uh, what it means for a function between two topological spaces to be continuous. So the concept of uh, continuity in more of a topological sense. So for um, topological sense, maybe is what I'll say. And just to remind you, um, we saw continuity between two metric spaces. And the definition of continuity there required that you had a way to measure distances. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of say that we can still talk about that underlying idea of um, what con continuity should be um, without having to worry about distances. And so maybe uh, I could write down uh, kind of a definition of what's it mean for a function to be continuous at a point. Um, and then we'll do a little example right after that. So if we say something like, I've got this function f between two topological spaces, my first one I'll call uh, x with topology t, and uh, y with topology like fancy u, be a function here. We say f is continuous at, let's say some little x that lives in capital X, if for every neighborhood, uh, so where is this living, sorry, so for every open set in Y, in other words, for everything that's in the topology on Y, um, such that uh, for every one of these that contains f of little x, that uh, there should exist somebody named u that's back here in the topology on x, in other words, something open from x, um, such that, um, what do I want to have happen? I want, just in this case, x to be in u, so regular u, and I also want my function f to send everything in u inside of that thing b. So I'll try to draw you a little picture here. Here's x, got this function f that takes it to this other topological space y. Let's pretend it looks like that. We're saying we've got some point A here. Now, what we're saying is for this function to be continuous at A, what's supposed to happen? Well, f of A is certainly a point over here. And what we're saying is we should be able to look in the topology on Y over here for any element of my topology that contains f of A. So I'll draw one for any one of these. So here's a random one, say, I'm going to call it V. What we should always be able to do is we should be able to basically look back here now and find a corresponding, say, open set, which we'll call u. So I wanted to keep that. So I'm drawing it as an open ball again, but remember, like, I'm just in a topological space, so open ball doesn't make sense. Um, we're just saying I have some open set where v comes from topology u here, um, such that uh, we should be able to find something back here. Let's call it a, uh, sorry, we called it u. And what we're trying to say is that everything inside of this green set will be sent inside of this red set over here. By the way, um, just to remind you too, this picture is trying to say that V is a neighborhood of F of A, and similarly this picture over here with green is trying to say that U is a neighborhood of little a. So let's do a little example. Let's see if I can remember the one that I wanted to do. About. And so just to emphasize too that I'm not relying on any way to measure distances. I'm not telling you anything about an open ball, no epsilons, no deltas. So this is, again, a, a generalization of the definition of continuity that you saw with epsilons and deltas from metric spaces. Or, you know, maybe if you had a real analysis class, you've seen that uh, definition of continuity for the real line as well. Um, here's my example. So how about X is just a great set like one, two, three. And let's say the topology that I'm going to put on it is the empty set and X, surprise. And so I'll throw just the singleton one in there. And I'll also throw the uh, set one, two in there. And uh, the other set that I'll play with is Y. And let's say that it's ABC. And let's say that the topology on Y is just the empty set, Y. And uh, what else do I want to do? How about just like AB? And here's the function we're going to talk about, f goes from x to y, and I'm just going to tell you what f does to each one of the elements of x. So such that, uh, let's say, let's say f of 1, and we'll just do it in kind of an intuitive way, say f does that. So f of 1 equals a, uh, f of 2 equals b, 
and f of 3 is equal to c. All right, so what I want to do is just really to demonstrate what's this definition of continuity saying. So why is this function f continuous? Let's see. And so what we're going to look at then is we're going to look at f of 1 is equal to a. And so uh, f of 1 equals a. What we're going to do is we're going to look at what are any of the elements of the topology over in y that contain a. And so there's only two of them. There's only the whole set itself, and there's the set AB. Maybe let's start with uh, AB, and then I'll say a word about that one in a minute. So this is our example of a V that we're going to take. And so um, AB is a neighborhood of F of 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to see um, Maybe is there a neighborhood of just one that is guaranteed to get sent into AB here? And so what do we see? We see that, uh, well, the singleton one itself is my U. That can, so we see we could take U equal to regular one here. Maybe it would be helpful too. This is my example of a V, and now this is my example of a U. Um, it should be regular U, sorry, not like a fancy U. There. Alright, and C is such that F sends the whole set U uh, into V. So I'll say F of U subset V. Cool. And then the other thing that we need to check is, well, there's one more such a V that contains this point A, and that would be the whole set itself. And uh, maybe I won't write it down, but I'll just say through it. So what are we supposed to do? Okay, if I say y is the neighborhood of f of 1 now, what would be a good neighborhood of 1 back here? So maybe I should look. <laughs> Sorry, pointing the wrong way. What would be a good neighborhood of 1 back here that makes sure that uh, you know f of that gets sent into y? I mean, you could just take the whole set x itself in that case. And that's probably what we'll always do if you had to do an example like that. So let's move on. So f of 1 is good. So uh, f is continuous at 1. Uh, what else we should do? We should look at f of 2 now. So f of 2 is equal to b. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look again, you know, what are the uh, open sets that contain uh, b? And we're looking around in u over here. Well, I've got the same two. By the same logic, I don't really need to say much about y. So what we'll do is we'll just focus on this is my v. So let's say um, a, b, that's definitely a neighborhood of f of 2, neighborhood of f of 2. And what we need to do is we need to figure out, um, is there a neighborhood of 2 back here that gets sent into a, b? So we're looking, and in this case, does there exist one is the question, and yes, this is a good neighborhood of 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to let u equal 1, 2. Maybe I'll write it that way. That's fine. Is such that um, f of u is exactly actually equal to a, b. Because remember, uh, what is f of 1 sends 1 to a, and then f sends 2 to b. So f of u is just the set a, b. And so what do we get then? We get, sure, we get, an, in fact, an equality in terms of trying to satisfy the definition here. So we've just justified f is continuous at uh, 2. I just need to show you f is continuous at 3, and then we'll be pretty happy. So f of 3 was equal to c. And what we're looking at is, all right, if I look in the topology, uh, you know, over here in the codomain, um, well, what are the neighborhoods that contain c? And I need to go and look for each such neighborhood. Does there exist a neighborhood back here? Um, that contains 3 and gets sent to that neighborhood that contains C. And you're like, what did you just say? All right, well, let's just look at this particular example. Y itself is the only neighborhood of C. I hope that you agree with that. And so therefore, kind of like what we've been saying here, does there exist a neighborhood of 3 back here that gets sent into Y? And uh, sure, just take the whole set X because, you know, what does this function say? This says F of X is definitely a subset of Y. And that's what we want to have happen. So there's not a lot to do for this one. And so um, y 
is the only neighborhood of f of 3. So u equal x is such that um, what f of u is contained in y. Cool, so f's continuous at 3. So therefore, like we just showed in this kind of easy example where both my sets just had a handful of things, so that f is continuous at 3. So therefore, the function f is continuous. Cool, and so I hope that that makes sense with this uh, kind of more abstract definition of what continuity means.